Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday at 2 o'clock from 2 to 2.30 in the downtown studios of ThinkTech Hawaii in the Pioneer Plaza. Our show focuses on positive stories about business in Hawaii, and there are many of those. Uh, we've got one here today. Uh, this is Vanessa Perez, who is the CEO of a company called S3C2. Now, that's a, a cryptic, uh, and she's going to explain exactly what that means here shortly. But the bottom line is that she is an expert in the powers of LinkedIn. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that network and, and how best to use it. Uh, Vanessa, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Reg. It's so great to be here. I'm really honored. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it'll be very interesting. Uh, LinkedIn has been in the news recently, and we'll touch base on that, I guess, uh, yes. a little later. But first, let's talk a little bit about you. Now, I know you've got a little bit of an accent, so where are you from, and how long <laughs> have you been in Hawaii? I do have a bit of an accent, Reg. You may have picked up, and your viewers may have picked up by now that I'm Australian. Australia, and, all right. Uh, I'm from a beautiful city called Sydney out in Australia, down under. And uh, my journey to come to this beautiful, magical island started a number of years ago when I met the love of my life, who's a United States Marine. Hi, darling, Bill. <laughs> and uh, we met on a joint exercise in Australia. I was serving with the Australian Defence Force. Mm. And I had served for 23 years, um, primarily as a reservist, but I also had some pretty big careers on the side as well. And uh, I did six years active duty and 17 as a reserve. Pretty and the majority good. of my time with the Australian Defence Force was serving with the Special Operations Command and specifically one commando regiment. So I've sort of been around, you know, the military, the military for most of my life, actually. Well, I can't say that I've been around it most of my life, although Hawaii, it's hard to escape from it. It's, <laughs> it seems to be all over the place in Hawaii. Yeah, but yeah. I was a Navy diver and I did some interesting things. And I know, a I'm very impressed, years, Reg. <laughs> you know, over Vietnam. So uh, we had some... some stories that we can share someday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you came to Hawaii how long ago? So I moved here in 2008 and Bill and I had already been married for two years at that time and um, he was posted here as his last posting cycle before he retired and you know we were trying to have a family and it's pretty hard to do in two different countries so I uh, left the army I was serving full-time and I left and packed up the house and I moved over here with my suitcase wow. and uh, started our new life in this beautiful island and you know I was here for 12 months and um, it's such a magical place and our darling son Henry was born here at Castle Hospital actually in Kailua so that was a photo of uh, the day that Henry and Bill met, actually. Bill was serving in Afghanistan when Henry was born, and that was the day they met when Bill returned. Um, precious photo. So, yeah, so came here for 12 months and have been here for nearly eight years. So, eight years, very Yeah, good. we love it. Yeah. And so during the eight-year period, have you been focused on, you know, uh, the benefits and the power of LinkedIn this whole time or? Do you know I've been on LinkedIn for about eight years and initially I wasn't as a fanatic as I am now um, but I did I, I, ha I have been on it um, and it's really only in the last five years that I've really been very active on LinkedIn and really started to leverage it and, and discover the power of it and that's primarily through my work of working with transitioning veterans so I love to be able to use you know, my knowledge of the, you know, military language. Well, and, and because I have a little bit of an interest there, and there are so many veterans in, in, in town. Yes. Uh, what is it? How do you help them with the transition using LinkedIn? How does that work? Um, I, I might go back a step and say that for, for two years, I actually worked as a transition trainer. So we, we actually call it TAPS or GPS in the within military. The, within the military? So I was contracted, actually. Uh -huh. There's a There's a program that's uh, run by the Department of Labor and Department of Defense. And it's a mandatory three-day program that everybody in the military will go through before their transition. And it's designed to give them the tools and knowledge to posture for the current job market. That's so necessary. Did, they didn't have that in my day, but it's so necessary to go through it that. It really is, Reg. And, you know, pretty much every veteran, there's somewhere close to 350,000 a year that transition out, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they'll all go through this training. So it really sets them up to start thinking about interviewing right. skills and resume so I did that for a couple of years and found that this was my calling this was my passion I loved using my knowledge you know I've spent most of my life hiring recruiting selecting and training people so to be able to pass on that knowledge through this uh, training platform 
and you know I just wanted to do more which is why I started my business um, in 2014 and uh, I just wanted to do more with the military community and beyond uh, to help people posture for transition success. So you had this contract for two years, you helped everybody through this training program, um, but now that contract is over and now you're doing this freelance? Well, or? I personally wasn't contracting. I was, um, I was a subcontractor, I okay. suppose, to the company that is contracting, so I should get that clear. And, and whilst I loved it, I really, I really wanted to do more. I wanted to do uh, more and kind of bridge the gap between what veterans are learning and some of the newer things that they actually need in transition now. Uh, so I like to think that I'm preparing people for the current career marketplace. <laughs> well, and that, that's important because there, there are distinctions. And what's interesting, at least in my mind, is that you know some of the challenges come not only from the mindset of the people that are transitioning out, but also <laughs> the mindset of the people that they're going to be working with. And so right. there needs to be this orientation or training right. for both groups. Right. You know, because I think sometimes the expectations uh, in the private sector uh, aren't always in sync with the reality right. of, of right. the person coming in. And I love that word sync, Reg, actually. I'm, I'm using that now and saying that I actually synchronize talent with opportunity globally. And LinkedIn's a key platform, a key tool to be able to do that. And, and you know, you asked how I came about getting into, you know, this fanaticism of LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And it really is because one of the gaps that I wanted to bridge between delivering the TAPS training for the military and what they actually need and LinkedIn was a, cr was a key gap that needed to be bridged. So I started doing LinkedIn training, coaching, teaching people how to do their own LinkedIn profiles. And for really busy clients, I actually write them or ghost write them. Mm -hmm. um, and it's well, starting to... that's necessary because not oh. everybody is comfortable writing and promoting about oh. themselves. Oh, you're you know, right, even the best writers. Yeah. So yes. it's good to have somebody do that for them. It, it really is good. You're right, Reg, you know, the best writers in the world often stumble, you know, over writing about themselves. And, and even I do if I have to write a, a paragraph about my expertise or my background. So... So, you know, I think when, when veterans and I think anybody who's joining the job market now, you know, or anybody, you know, competing in the current career marketplace, whether you're hiring, looking to be hired or want to promote your business, being on LinkedIn is a really valuable tool. Um, and really, that's one of the, the big things that I, the gap that I wanted to bridge. No, I think it's also important that th this is a service you provide not only the military but also in the private sector oh, as yes. well mm -hmm. and you can help any person at any level in an organization from mm -hmm. junior all the way up to the most senior level mm -hmm. and I don't want to promote you too much but <laughs> this also uh, reaches an audience much broader than just Hawaii. I mean right. this is a, a national potentially international mm -hmm. uh, opportunity yeah. for people to go out and find something to do right. Uh, somewhere else, almost anywhere else. Right. Um, LinkedIn is a, is a platform that's global, it's international, and people may not realise that there are 445 million professionals engaged on LinkedIn across the globe. It's growing really rapidly. In fact, it's growing faster than Facebook and Twitter combined. <laughs> <laughs> and two more people join every single second, you know, so people are starting to see the value and the power of it. And one of the things that I really would like people to start thinking about, you know, I just want to change that mindset a little bit about people, for people, and help them realise that it's, it's not a, I don't consider it social media. I'd like, to people, I'd like people to start thinking about LinkedIn as being a professional networking platform. Mm -hmm. Global professional networking platform. And once they start thinking about that, that this is the platform they need to be on to establish their professional credibility, mm -hmm. to engage mm -hmm. with other professionals in their industry or other industries go globally. They can learn on LinkedIn. They can share knowledge, wisdom and insight. They can become an industry thought leader. Um, so it's more than, it's a platform that allows you to do more than just find a job. I mean, there's, I don't know, five million jobs on it, but it allows you to do much more than that as a business owner, as somebody who's looking to hire or acquire talent, find it, acquire it, um, and for people that want to learn. I know we're, we're going to drill down into the yeah. details of that a little bit more <laughs> in the second half of the show so we can talk about some of the more deeper concepts right. of what you just mentioned. Uh, and it's a very powerful tool. Yeah. And, and I use 
different parts of it at different times. You're good um, on it, Reg. Don't under Reg is very good on LinkedIn, you know, <laughs> thousands, tens of thousands of connections, which is fantastic, well, and you're and using it well. To your point about the social media distinction, mm. you know, I mean, I'm also active on Facebook yes. and on Twitter and mm -hmm. Google Plus and some other things. Uh, and there are certain posts that right. are acceptable in a Facebook environment. Yes. But I've seen people try to put similar type posts on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And they can do that. They can. But they get slammed they, for it. I know people like me. <laughs> you yeah. know, and it's, it's yeah. always interesting to see how quickly yes. people are to remind right. others that this is not Facebook, this is not Twitter, this You're is right. LinkedIn. You're right. And they have different standards. I don't want yes. to say higher standards, but they have different standards. Right. It's a professional network organization yes. that people go to in some respects to get work done. Right. And they don't want to have to deal with some of the, the silly little pet things and this and that and other stuff that's uh, maybe popping up that's of interest on Facebook, right. but it's certainly not of interest to LinkedIn people. And it's a great example to differentiate there. So I consider Facebook social media and it's a great platform to stay connected with friends and family across the globe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and be a little bit more social and you can share information there about what's your favourite meal for lunch and your favourite yeah. new bag that you've just bought. And what your puppy did that's that not, day. That's and right. That that's kind right. Of stuff. But it's not for LinkedIn no. audiences and you're right like I'm one of the people that actually say hey can you get that back on Facebook that's not really appropriate for this platform. Well, and in fairness to, to Facebook a little bit is that they also they do have business pages that are Absolutely. available that, that do yes. promote businesses mm -hmm. and they do a good job at that and you can put ads yes. on it yeah. and so you know Facebook does have a little bit of yeah. a balance but it's just maintaining the um, you know, the, the, the personality of That's LinkedIn, right. just, yeah. you know, to be, to have that credibility that right. you're looking to establish, you right. got to be careful in what you post there. And it's, you know, people can start thinking about it is, you know, if you go for a job, for instance, um, it's really not within the scope of works for people to question you about your family or, you know, anything personal and social. So just think about that. I mean, if, if you're not able to be questioned about it in a job interview, don't necessarily share it here. Right. People want to know about you, your professional credibility, what your career story is. They want to know that your network have validated that expertise. Well, and how long does that stay on LinkedIn? When you post something on LinkedIn, how long does it stay there? Well, I think whatever you post on the internet stays on the internet somewhere. And Forever. Well, right, forever. And, and that's the point I was trying to right. make is that, yes. you know, you may be using LinkedIn for in a professional environment, but all of a sudden you get excited about something, you put something on there right. that maybe is more appropriate on Facebook. It's going to be there and people will see it. And, and I use LinkedIn. If people ask for my resume or my experience yeah. or what have I done, I almost always tell them to go to LinkedIn and, right. and it's all right there in chronological order. Uh, I even have links on my website that'll take you there. So it, it, all, it all works together. Um, and I want to make sure that what's there, I'm not going to be embarrassed with. Right. And I like to say to people, um, when you get searched, when people search you, mm -hmm. do you like what they see? And LinkedIn's the perfect platform for you to be able to establish your professional online reputation, right. brand, and your credibility. And if you're not proud of what's there, then ramp it up, change it, improve it, enhance it. Uh, people think LinkedIn is a platform that they consider it a online resume or the place that you need to be on if you're looking for a job, but it's much more than that as we'll discover a bit later. But uh, I want people to start thinking about developing their online portfolio on mm -hmm, LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Start thinking about telling their full career story. Well, and there are ways to post articles and, and oh, get all kinds of information on there, particularly if you've been published before to put that on there. But, right. But let's, um, let's, we've got to take a quick break. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to come back in about 60 seconds and we're going to drive down into the details a little bit Great. more about how to make LinkedIn work for you and whatever needs those might be. Uh, but this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we're going to be going on a quick 60-second break, and we'll be right back to talk some more uh, with Vanessa Perez about the powers of LinkedIn. Aloha. I'm Carl Campagna. I hope you please visit us this summer. It's a wonderful summer. It's actually a cooler summer than we're used to. But I hope that you come back and visit us and watch our show, Education, Movers, Shakers, and Reformers, here on ThinkTech Hawaii. It's at noon every Wednesday. See you then. 
Aloha! We invite you to join us on our Keys to Success show, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Our goal for Keys to Success is to provide a platform for professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. We have incredible guests from all walks of life, including politicians, successful business owners, leaders, entrepreneurs and authors. As this is a live show, there are live mess ups as well, which are fun to watch. Aloha and we'll see you on Thursday. Aloha and welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Today we are talking about uh, talking with Vanessa Perez about the power of LinkedIn. Uh, and LinkedIn can be useful in a lot of different ways and we're going to talk about number one what those ways are and number two how to make that work for you. So Vanessa, can what other than finding employment? Mm -hmm. What else can LinkedIn do for us? Oh, LinkedIn is like I, I like to call it the opportunity giant. So, you know, the goal of LinkedIn is to uh, connect talent with opportunity at massive scale. So people don't realise that they actually can do business on LinkedIn. It's beyond, you know, maybe when it was created, it was almost like an online resume mm -hmm. platform. And people used to call it the Facebook for chief executives. Mm -hmm. Now, it's way beyond that. If you're a job seeker um, looking to be you know, competitive in the current job career market, you should be on LinkedIn. There's no doubt about it. You need to be on LinkedIn. There are five million jobs on there. You have the ability to present your career expertise in ways that far exceed what you could ever do on one or two pieces of paper with mm -hmm. a resume. Mm -hmm. And well, there's, there's, is, isn't there video possibilities on there as well? I mean, you can do almost anything on LinkedIn. Absolutely. And I know that you've done a video introduction, mm -hmm. Reg, for your business and what your professional expertise is. So I really would like to see more people thinking about um, leveraging the features, the multimedia features on LinkedIn. So you can include video, you can include images, you can include websites, you can upload documents um, for mm -hmm. publications mm -hmm. or articles that you've written. And you can actually use it as a publishing platform. And in fact, I think LinkedIn, um, you know, is, is, is exceeding um, some of the newspapers really with the amount of publishing that's happening. So I said earlier that there's 445 million professionals engaged on it. Every single one have the opportunity to create their own original long form content and publish it. So it's kind of like having a blog. Um, but I'd be encouraging people that when they have a niche field of expertise to actually start documenting that and sharing it mm -hmm, with their mm -hmm. network so that others can learn from them, share insights and knowledge and wisdom and uh, you, your network really value it. Can you, LinkedIn be used in a form of like a blog? Because I mean, a lot of people have blogs, right? but there's nothing that would be wrong with taking some of those blog posts that they do and just put it onto LinkedIn as well. So. Absolutely. You're right. I'm working with a client at the moment that's had so many blogs published on other platforms and her website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just moving them now over onto LinkedIn so that the net, right. her network get the value of her expertise. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I, I work a lot with transitioning military. So some of the posts that I write are to prepare people for transition. And it's great when people say, thanks, I really got a lot out of that. I learned something. Thanks for sharing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So there's really great positive influence that you can have. Right. The, um, and that leads to, I guess, a service that I utilize. Yeah. You know, and I help a lot of different companies, a lot in the small and mid-sized business market and their owners. And, and sometimes questions come up that I just want to get feedback on what the options are. I, I maybe mm -hmm. have a feel for what my answer is going to be, but I want to know what other options there are out there. Yeah. And so I belong to different groups. And I can post a question. Uh, depending upon the nature of the question yeah. into the different groups and I can yeah. get a lot of feedback from yeah. people across the country yeah. on the, the question I might have. It's really valuable. I'm not quite sure how many groups they've got but I've got a bit of a feeling it might be something like four million or something. There's a bunch. There's a lot. So you can really find a group that um, can provide guidance and advice and knowledge based on what you want to learn. And if you search veteran groups, for instance, I think there are about two and a half thousand of them alone. Yeah, yeah. 
And the Veteran Mentor Network is a fantastic one for veterans to be part of. And, you know, I, I see messages from veterans that go, I've sent out a hundred resumes and I'm not getting an interview, can you help? And I'll, I'll often send a message, go, send me a resume exactly. and I'll run my <laughs> eye over it. <laughs> By the time they do, they've had three job offers. So it's, you know, tapping into the groups that are relevant to you, your industry, right. your expertise, or what you want to learn is really a valuable resource. Well, and even for people that are not maybe professionals in those areas, if now I get a lot of questions about naturally about taxes right. or about estate planning or wealth mm -hmm. management, and so I belong to those groups. And we can talk a little bit about what are the, you know, what's the rules in estate planning? You know, right. can I set up a trust and do this? Can I do that? And they have groups that, that answer all these questions for you. And mm -hmm. it's and you're getting some very talented yeah. people yes. engaged in a discussion yes. with you on these issues. I, 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 when I get some time, I like to actually follow some things on there and engage with veterans and offer them tips or people who are after career advice. And I love it. I like to be able to give back that way and mm -hmm. people get value from it. It's, a, they, it's a great way to learn. So it, it's a, a place for employees mm -hmm. to go and hopefully look for a job and they can get so specific they could say i want a job in new york and Absolutely. so they can focus their efforts into a particular location mm -hmm. uh, it's also a, an area that you can uh, post questions and get answers and get some advice and consultation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's also a place that i think employers can go oh, to find qualified absolutely. people it's the platform for talent sourcing i like to say you can find target and acquire talent and i uh if i might i might talk about a specific um scenario where i'm working or coaching a veteran at the moment who's in transition and uh I, I coached him to what I call strategically optimise his profile. So it's about using the right words, the right fields, the right mm -hmm, number of times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He now, in searches for his field of expertise, is number one out of 89 million. <laughs> He's been able to leverage that to engage with decision makers at organisations in Colorado, where he wants to retire to, and... He's recently, fl he's six months away from retiring. He's just flown over to Colorado to meet a handful of people that want to hire him. He's been found for his expertise. So it allows you to, um, it, it's a platform that allows people, whether you're a HR professional, a hiring professional, a placement firm, or just somebody mm -hmm. running a small business looking for the best that's, talent on the planet. That's a good point. I'm glad you mentioned that because it's not just the employers. It's also some of the search firms that are out there mm. looking for people. Mm. Yeah. I'm doing some uh, talent scouting at the moment uh -huh. for a few small businesses. And, you know, they come to me and they go, oh, we're looking for this niche expertise. And I go, give me four minutes. <laughs> I want to say give me three days, but it actually really only takes minutes to find the talent. And then it's the engaging. So what, and you, you charge by the minute? <laughs> <laughs> Should $1,000 a minute. Um, it's so easy to find the people. It's LinkedIn allows you to create the relationships with people, right? You know, um, it's about engaging, building, trusting relationships, you know? And uh, well, that's what business is all about in right, general. And right. people say you can't do that unless you're face to face. Well, <gasps> you know, things are transitioning. It's a little different today than it was uh, 20 or 30 years ago. May I tell you, I have met some of the finest mentors on the planet through LinkedIn. Hello, Dr. Story Musgrave, um, is an astronaut who's been out of space seven times and fixed the Hubble telescope. We remember that, some younger viewers may not remember it. He's the most amazing man on the planet. And I've connected, I was introduced to him through another friend on LinkedIn and uh, he's such a generous mentor and I can send him a message and he'll be in contact within 10 minutes. Yeah. See, and that's something that you wouldn't be able to do without having the digital world supporting it. Who'd think that you'd ever be able to connect with somebody, such a global influencer mm -hmm. and amazing mm -hmm. person on the planet? And LinkedIn's allowed me to connect with many, many people like that across the globe. Okay, so we've got all this power. What else can, can LinkedIn do? I mean, it can help build a brand. Probably, you know, the, the most important thing about being ready for today's career marketplace is thinking about how you're going to brand and market yourself and what you have to sell, whether you're a small business owner or whether you're somebody entering the job market for the first time or, you know, after a long period of time. So creating a professional brand is really important on LinkedIn and then being able to grow your networks and, you know, engage with people. Mm -hmm. 
but you've got to have content there, you know. It's important to have a photo that lets people know who you are. I like to say head and shoulders, make sure you're smiling. And uh, it's not the platform for the family portrait mm -hmm. or the selfie. It's the platform for having a professional headshot. And uh, we want to see eyes and we want to see a smile. We want to know that we can trust you. So the, the photo is important. And then from there, the content that you write, tell us your career story, use images to back it up and validate it. If you've project managed a building, show us a photo of that when it was mm -hmm. finished or mm -hmm. the stages of it. If you fly an F-18 jet, give us a photo of it so that we know what it looks like. Exactly. And, th right. and these Whatever are Whatever that, that brand is, you want to communicate with your audience, mm -hmm. you need to be mm -hmm. putting it on there and showing everybody that this yep. is my brand, this is who right. I am. Yes. Yep. It's really important. And the, and the content. And people overlook the importance of the skills and the endorsements on LinkedIn. And that's a way for you to define your expertise in line with your brand or what you're branding and marketing yourself for. And it allows your network to endorse you. Mm -hmm. And that's validation. That's, pe that's people within your profession usually, usually people who know you and have yep, worked with yep, you, yep. endorsing and vouching that you have that skill set. Well, in, in, in my case, I have to be a little bit careful because I want to make sure that the people who do endorse me, and a lot of them put commentary on there, a little testimonial, but I want That's to make great. sure it's credible and it's yeah. real. Yeah. And occasionally I'll get somebody who I've never worked with and I don't really know them, and so yeah. they put something on there. And I, I'm just not comfortable, so I won't show that on there. And it's great. You have the ability to manage what people see on your profile or your portfolio. Mm -hmm. And recommendations are really fantastic. And, and I'd like to encourage people to actually seek recommendations and give them to other people that they've worked with who've done a great job. But that's part of validating. But you have the choice to send it back and ask for changes. And you have the choice to display it or not. And then you have the choice to reorder them so that yep. if you've had a great one two years ago and you want it up now, you can move it. Now, we're in our last probably 30 really? or 40 seconds of, if Zuri is kind to me. Um, and I wanted to just get your take on the yeah. acquisition. Right. That Microsoft just bought LinkedIn. Yes. Is that a good thing? How exciting is it, Reg? Like, I think it was the 1st of June, so it's a recent acquisition that the um, tech titan, you know, bought LinkedIn for $26.2 billion. Mm -hmm. I think it was the most expensive um, technology acquisition that we've ever heard of. So it's exciting and it means that, well, I'm, I suppose we'll see how that evolves soon, but it's exciting to see that the global owners of the cloud mm -hmm. are merging with the global owners of the network. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see some magic happen. Oh, the collaboration, the synergies, Isn't it the exciting? thing that, that's going to take off now that you've got two of the, the, the powerhouses yeah. combining forces uh, and having that integrated oh. with Skype and all those other opportunities. It's Linda. just going to be exciting. And Linda.com as well. And I know one of the assets mm -hmm. that LinkedIn had to offer was Linda.com, which is a learning platform. Um, and when you get your veteran pre free, pre when you get your veteran free premium upgrade, you get access to Linda for free, which Wait is minute, video veterans learning. Get a free upgrade? Oh, veterans can get a free okay. upgrade. Right. Send I'm me a message and I'll let you know okay. how to get it. We got to wrap up. Oh, and Ridge, I'm sorry, we have more, so much more to talk about, but um, we've run out of time. Thank you. This is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday at 2 o'clock. Looking forward to having you back again. See you next week. Aloha.